Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck. So, while a lot of people out there have Instant Pots, there are a few out there who have different brands, which is totally fine, it makes sense. And, you know, they ask me, Jeff, most of your recipes seem to be written for the Instant Pot. I have this brand, you know, whatever the brand is. How do I make it in there following your recipe? And the answer is very, very simple. All of these other brands that are not the Instant Pot have very similar buttons that do the exact same thing. So can you do the same thing in an electric pressure cooker brand that's not an Instant Pot? Absolutely. And I'll just give you an example on how to do that with the Ninja Foodi. Let's get going. So if an Instant Pot recipe tells you to hit the saute button, you simply hit that button and adjust the temperature again from going to whatever you want. Right now it's on the more or the high setting. You hit the saute button again on the Duo Plus series to adjust it to less, which is low, normal, which is medium, and again, more, which is high. You have to hit that saute button again on the Duo Plus model to adjust. Similarly, on the Instant Pot Duo series, if you want to saute, you hit the saute button, depending on your model where it's located. Sometimes the control panel has changed a bit, but to adjust the temperature on this one, you have to hit the adjust button. There's a button dedicated to it on the older models of the Duo. Some of the newer ones, you just hit the saute button again to adjust, but if there's an adjust button on there, that means you have to hit that to adjust the temperature from less, which is low, normal, which is medium, and more, which is high. And let's say you're done sauteing and you want to switch your function, you hit the cancel button on the Duo Plus series. And then to cancel any of the settings, you hit the keep warm slash cancel button, which is one button here as opposed to two separate ones on the Duo Plus. Now, because so many recipes are written specifically for the Instant Pot, if you have a different brand electric pressure cooker, like let's say the Ninja Foodi, which can also tender crisp and air fry and things of that nature, um, the buttons are gonna be pretty much comparable on all the other brands units. You just kind of really look for the similar buttons. So for instance, on the Ninja Foodi, if my Instant Pot recipe calls for doing saute first, just hit that button that says sear saute. It's the same thing. I just lift my lid up there, and then you can adjust the temperature by hitting the temperature button. This one actually doesn't just do high temperature. It also does medium high, medium, low medium, and low. So you have a lot, you have like two extra settings here. You have in between high and medium and low on that as well. So that's how that works. And then you just hit the start button to begin. And when you're done with something, you just hit the stop button instead of the keep warm cancel or just the cancel button. Now when a recipe calls for pressure cooking on an Instant Pot, here's the Duo Plus, I'm going to hit the pressure cook button. Now the Duo Plus model offers a little bit more of an extra thing here, which I don't pay attention to. You can also change your level of pressure cooking from normal to more to less. And I just always leave it on normal on the Duo Plus to save things and make it easy because there's already a pressure level adjustment which you hit the pressure level if you want it to be on high or low level, just like that. I always, pretty much always leave all my pressure cooking on high and if it's on the Duo Plus, just leave it on that normal thing there. Don't adjust that thing over here. Just leave it on that, all right? And pressure cooking on the Instant Pot Duo, again, some of the older models have a button that say manual. Some of the new ones say pressure cook and I believe it's located over here. It depends on the model. So on this one, you're gonna hit the manual button. That's why every recipe that I write for the Instant Pot, it says either hit the manual or the pressure cook button when it's time to pressure cook. So there we go. Hit the manual button and adjust your time by hitting the plus and minus buttons. And if you want to change the pressure level, you have to hit the button that says pressure, which is different from pressure cook. You see what I mean? I always pretty much go with high pressure. So again, manual to pressure cook and then the pressure button to change this, the temperature setting. Really very easy. And then the same thing goes for any other brands. If you want to do pressure cooking, like on the Ninja Foodi, simply hit the button button that says pressure on it. Make sure the pressure cooking lid is on top and then you hit that button and then you could adjust between high and low temperatures. I usually always go for high and you adjust your time using the up and down buttons on the time side. Let's say I want to go for five minutes and then you just hit the start button. It's all very self-explanatory and it's very, very interchangeable no matter what brand you have. And lastly, at the time of me making this video, the Ninja Foodi is the only appliance that can both pressure cook and crisp at the end at the same time time. It's really the only thing that can do it. So if there are recipes written specifically for the foodie that require air crisping at the end, which you can do right in the pot, just know you can take anything out of anything else, like an Instant Pot or any other brand, and then just put it into an air fryer or an oven and give it some crisp there at the same temperature degrees. It's really very simple. So the moral of this video is if you have a brand that isn't an Instant Pot and you feel like the recipe is written tailored just for an Instant Pot, 
don't worry about it. You can 100% do it in your other brand pressure cooker that you have. Just look for the buttons that are synonymous to the Instant Pots control panel like I just showed in this video, and you're gonna have a meal that you can make just the same way. So, I hope that clears things up. So guys, go to facebook.com slash pressurelovecooking and like that page so you can see new tips and things that pop up like this. Go to YouTube and definitely subscribe to me there because all my videos live there, and that's pressure luck there. And of course, pressurelovecooking.com because I have tons of recipes there. And since most of them are tailored for the Instant Pot, again, if you have a different brand, just look for the buttons on the brand that you have and make sure they just basically match up with the ones on the Instant Pot because they're going to for the most part. And hopefully that'll knock out any confusion. Thank you guys again and enjoy. Have fun cooking. Thank <laughs> you.